Remember just a little bit ago when Ahmed was actually destroying our $20,000 piece of coral? Wow, take it easy there, champ. <laughs> Basically to get all the little pieces of coral out. Well, guess what? Literally within like 15 or 20 minutes of him starting to destroy Steve it, Steve Bash, he called me and said, hey, I'm looking around my shop and he found three big bends of coral that he was able to like, bring over here. So the fact is we didn't have to destroy that coral. <laughs> The good news is, is that that coral is still just gonna be an opportunity for us to do even more. In actuality, we didn't have a spot for that coral anyway. So as much as it stinks that we've destroyed the actual thing, at the same time, it's all gonna work out because it's just gonna make this look even better. Let's take a look. Thank you, corals, man. Coral, 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 all day. Yeah, all day. And tomorrow, we're gonna paint all the tank. That way, Friday, we can seal everything. Woo, it's bright. No, none of the paint. Get out of here. We was just make sure it, it wasn't us. We didn't do nothing. Wow, it's coming to life. We figured out how to do it. They've been crushing today. <laughs> and it's coral, coral, coral all day today. Yeah, it's turning out really cool. What are you doing? What the heck is this? So it's huge. Let me make sure though first. What are you doing? That's about four feet. Are I'm you measuring? measuring? Yeah. With a phone? Yeah. 2023, here we are. It makes it a lot easier. You and I can be in here. I think the whole crew could fit. Yeah. Yeah. We absolutely <laughs> so could. So exciting to see something at Stan show. But we have a few more showing up today, so we'll be able to start placing everything and really start to visualize it, so it'll be exciting. That's his first dance off. There's material everywhere, so getting anything maneuvered throughout this building is becoming a bigger and bigger challenge. Now that we have walls, we have studs, we have all kinds of corals, now we have stands coming. It's gonna get more and more challenged. You gotta remember, any day, we have between three and five different crews of people that are working on the job, so it's definitely gonna become more and more challenging. See, kind of like a look of what this will look like one day, where it's like, dark in here but it's lit up on the inside obviously it's going to be blue and look absolutely stunning but how cool to see the stingray tank like this Woo! so yesterday you were having a little trouble figuring out how you want to do looks this looks to me like you guys figured it out a little bit huh yeah what's the technique you're using so this is a two-part epoxy putty Great. some on here scrape some on there and just kind of smash it in hold it for a sec sometimes you got to prop it up with a stick or something but Usually it just stays right there. Woo. About 12 hours, it'd be hard as a rock. Sick, dude, and it's coming out great, huh? You got enough coral now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. got more coming even. We're going to coral you. <laughs> <laughs> behind the scenes of the predator tank. So the predator tank is right here, and this is actually where all the filtration is gonna go. Well, today they started to do the grinding on the floor. What we wanted to do is get this floor ground as quickly as we could. So if we get this floor set, we can actually do the plumbing as far as filtration goes in the next couple days, which will be really good. They're working on floors throughout the entire building. And every time they grind an area, that means that we can work on that area, to get enclosures in, to get exhibits in, whatever the case may be. And this is going to be our life for the next couple months. We have a bunch of big enclosures that are coming in. They're going to have to somehow fit through some pretty tight spots. There's going to be a lot of moving things around just so that we can move something through just to move it back to where it was before. So obviously the mammal room walls are starting to go up now. Wow, this is cool. When you see it, it's always a little bit different in your but head. This is all going to be glass right up to that header right there, right? So this will be the viewing glass area for this enclosure, which will actually be the Binturong's enclosure right here. And then of course Lilo the sloth will be over here in the next one. I love the ceiling. We're going to make them about a foot short but wow, I, tell you, I think that extra foot is just going to make it look that much more grand. That is amazing. Again, it's going to come to here, you know, just kind of like rock work and stuff like that. And then a big window here, and then the glass door is right here. So this entire thing is going to be a glass door right here. And then here, same thing, right? We've got the wall to here, and then basically this is going to be all glass. So we just need a header up here that heads off this whole area here. So the mammal rooms are coming together. They've got to do the cross beams here, but it is definitely looking cool. Again, every time you start to add layers to it, you start to see what's going on, right? Speaking of seeing what's going on, check out the dark room. This is so incredible. Enough area to get in here. You can see one of the glow tanks here that's in here. Dark as could be in here. Just with the glow tank. Now they're starting to do the rounded wall right here. Right? The other thing I couldn't see is they put this wall up as well. Now the entire freshwater slash mammal area is kind of what it's going to look and like. Then you can walk into this room. They're working hard over here with coral as far as the stingray tank. What do you say we go take a look?
And now with the floors being grinded, all the walls going up, and even stands coming for the aquarium, it's starting to kind of really feel like we're starting to make an aquarium here. All these months of preparation have led up to this very moment, and it is getting exciting. Crazy to see the size of this stand. I mean, this is giant. You gotta remember, there's gonna be a tank. This is the reef tank stand. We have another one that's coming that's a little bit smaller than this, that's just a saltwater tank. It actually will go almost right here. But this particular stand probably has to go all the way down by the Bermuda Triangle. So basically, you have this 20-foot tank here. You have the fish box, and then you have another close to 20-foot tank like 16, 17 foot tank. It's gonna go right here. We have a little bit of kind of maneuvering around and stuff like that. And this here, I mean, literally weighs a couple thousand pounds. So it's not like you could just pick it up and move it around. That is one beast of a stand. I think that we have four or five other stands coming today. Look at this. What do you guys got going on in here? What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Looking good, man. Looking good. Look at all of this work over here. Oh my gosh, it's just crazy how that extra coral just really makes everything pop so oh, yeah. And I love the fact that the coral is coming on the water. That is absolutely brilliant. I mean, it looks really beautiful. And you heard Steve was bringing over some more yeah. coral. Do you have more than this, or is this? Happening? There's still a ton more okay, left. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah, that looks great, dude. Good. Love it, love it. What is that? More coral? Yeah, it's more needed little, little pieces. What is he doing? Bashy? Where you going? <laughs> What the heck are you doing? Cookies, man. I'm you got coral? Coral cookies. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> you thinking of me? I mean... <laughs> that one's suspect, dude. <laughs> I had that one custom made. <laughs> that was the most expensive one. Yo. Yeah. How much money in corals here, you think? Honestly, probably... Probably about $15 million. one is for the reef tank. This, is this where it goes or does it go somewhere no, else? not even close. All the way down there? It goes all the way down there. Okay. There's another one coming right now that's about this size for a huge salt water tank, which is going right about this area here. Later today, we have all the zigzag tanks, some cylinders, just different size miscellaneous tanks so we can get them all in place and get the electrical ran. And here we go, here's the second stand. Now that actually was the reef stand over here. So in actuality, this needs to get moved all the way down to that side. And the stand that's coming in here needs to go where this one is right here. So not exactly sure how we're gonna do it. I'll talk to these guys in a second and figure out what the spacing is and then we can maybe set them in the spots that they're supposed to be. What are you doing, Brian? Just trying to figure out the spacing with all this, which is crazy. One, four and a half, one, four and a half. So we got the math all figured out. We got the first stand placed exactly where it's supposed to be. Now we have to kind of spin this one around so that we can actually set this one in place too. And that'll give us the two giant tanks that are over here set. And then they can actually frame this wall out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, about 12 hours would be hard as a rock.